do you think those 10 minutes ruined your life? No. We went through six years, two months of prison, but everything happens for a reason. A Maryville man convicted in connection with a massacre of more than a dozen unarmed Iraqis now is expressing thanks for support from East Tennessee. Dustin Hurd says his family has felt that support for years. President Trump issued him a pardon just before Christmas. Tonight, he talks to 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan about that controversial decision and the attack that led to it. Robin John, that pardon allowed Hurd to come home to his family about halfway through his federal prison sentence. But some say he deserved to stay behind bars. They say he's a killer. Some people out there think you're a war criminal. The government says you're a murderer. Are you? No, I'm not. Dustin Hurd has said that since the beginning. The federal government says he and three other security contractors massacred more than a dozen unarmed Iraqi civilians in downtown Baghdad. They say Hurd fired wildly into cars in a crowded square, killing men, women, and children. How do you describe it to folks? It was a gun battle. I mean, it was a two-sided gun battle. He says his unit, Raven 23, came under attack, and he questions the evidence used against him. You were under fire. Yes, most definitely. Do you think about that day often? It's changed your life. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, uh, in the grand scheme of things, we went through so much stuff. That was a very, very minor scrape that we got into. I mean, don't get me wrong. Any time that somebody loses their life, it's tragic. But that was a very short engagement for us. After a trial, appeals, and resentencing, Hurd spent six years and two months in federal prison. I love seeing my kids, but one of the most hard, heartbreaking things that you can ever do is you watch the kids leave. But he says the people of East Tennessee stood by him. It's a truly humbling experience. And supported his ex-wife and their kids. That's helped my family out more than what they understand. Just the generosity, I'm not talking monetary, but just generosity towards them. Then, right before Christmas 2020, <laughs> Heard came home to Maryville. Hi, sweetheart. In a controversial move, President Trump issued him and the three other contractors unconditional pardons. I have every bit of my rights back. I can vote, I can buy a gun, I can uh, do everything you can. Heard wishes it never came to that. Don't get me wrong. I'm. I'm honored that he did this, but I wish the circumstances wasn't like what it is to where I even needed to be looked at by a president of the United States. You wish you were doing what? Mm, fishing. And that's what Dustin Hurd plans to do now. He just moved from Maryville back to his hometown in Texas. He wants to make a run at going pro and getting on the competition fishing circuit. We have more of his story on WBIR.com. Robin? Cole, thank you.